it's not very a big surprise. Our story will be on the next budget, right. and people are talking to us. Some people are things that we should belt, uh, tighten up the belt, and some other people said, I, I, know, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Right. Uh, what is the mood? Uh, what should we wait for? Or I, would, I, I, would, I don't want to know the details of the right, budget right. or anything like that. It's no, not no. The, 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 well, basically, I mean, what we learned very clearly on the consultation process that we took uh, with Minister Higgs was that people are ready for, for some changes in the way government's operating. Uh, it was overwhelming, the number of people who were saying, we, we all understand we're in a, a serious situation here and it needs to be corrected. Uh, there was a clear message that it has to be balanced. It has to be a mix of uh, expense uh, reduction and revenue growth. And that's what we're really trying to strike uh, uh, is a good balance with this budget. And I think on Tuesday what people will see is a lot of hard work went into it, a lot of tough decisions were made, and that it's going to be a real strong first step towards getting back to a balanced budget situation in New Brunswick. Have you read the Donald Savoy this morning? Uh, I did, I did. And, uh, you know, I think that with anything it's, it's very easy to talk about sheer numbers and sheer growth. You have to look at those underlying programs that have been leading to that growth. You have to determine what is, what's the actual goal that we're striving for in these programs. We have to be able to measure it and then we can have an actual decision on are, is this program meeting those goals that we're after. And if they're not, then changes have to be made. If, they're, if they are meeting those goals, then it's a program that's working and then the growth can be justified. But I think that's a big challenge that we've had uh, as a new government is realizing that over the past number of years there's been very little measurement in, in the effectiveness of these programs that have been added and that have led to the, the growth that we've seen. So that's a big challenge that we have is to basically figure out how we can measure what the programs are supposed to be doing in a way that will let us know if they're, if they're working or not. And there's one thing quite disturbing in, his, uh, in the story, in the paper this morning, is when he said that in the last 10 years there's been a lot of civil servants hired be just because of their political uh, allegiance. Yeah. And those people are not necessarily very efficient. Uh, I, you know, I, I have, as a minister, I haven't seen that myself, you know, the, the people that I have working in my department are certainly, I don't know whether they're uh, uh, liberal, uh, conservative, whether they're green or NDP, I, I judge them on the work that they're doing and the effectiveness of their work. Uh, I'm sure that there are there are examples of, of partisan uh, appointments uh, that are in the, that's in the civil service, no question about it. But at the same time, just because of certain types of leanings towards a certain political party shouldn't have an impact on whether or not they're, they're a, a civil member of the civil service. It should depend on the effectiveness of their work and how, pro uh, how productive they are. And that's what we're trying to strike as a, as a government, is, again, going back to the programs, not the individuals. If if the programs are working, the individuals are doing their jobs, then that's a positive. If the programs aren't working, those individuals clearly aren't doing their jobs and we'll have to make some changes. What about the capital commission? Like that costs about $700,000 a year. Yeah. Is that a waste? Well, I'm not going to say it's a waste or, or, or anything like that. Again, it falls into that situation where you have to evaluate programs, you have to look at the goals, are they meeting the goals, and are those goals something that the government wants to move forward on? If it is, then, then those are programs that clearly uh, need support. And if they're not, then uh, you know people have made it very clear that you know they want the situation, the fiscal situation in New Brunswick fixed, and we're going to have to do those, One more those decisions. One more question: Which English is worse, mine or his? <laughs> I'm going to say that it's a, that it's an even race there. <laughs> oh my God! No. S someone took me for for the mayor for the mayor. Yeah, the mayor. So, yeah. I, I, I win. Uh, just one last one, sure. an easy one.